All right, welcome back to our last video on section 12.3, which we're still looking at applications using Chebyshev's theorem, but now we're going to kick it up a notch. So in previous problems, they were giving you the value of k and asking you to find those fractions or percentages uh, related to Chebyshev's theorem. But now they're not going to give it to you directly. You have to do a little bit of tinkering to figure out what the value of k is and then you can use Chebyshev's to finish the problem. So, in a certain distribution of numbers, the mean is 60 and the standard deviation is 7. At least what fraction of numbers are between the following pairs of numbers give answers as common fractions reduced to lowest terms. So, this whole problem boils down to first finding out how far away are those cutoffs from the mean. And, and we have to translate that into a number of standard deviations, or k. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we should do is just confirm that 60 is in the middle of that interval from 39 to 81. And we can do that pretty quick by just doing a little bit of subtraction. So if we subtract those two numbers, we can see that 21 is the difference. And if we do it on the other side, we also get 21. So we know that 60 is in the middle of that interval. So that's good. That's what we want. So now what do we do with that 21? How does that help us find K? Well, I'm going to introduce a formula that's not in the textbook. And it helps you find the value of K. K is going to be found by finding that difference from the mean and dividing by the standard deviation, whatever it is. So in this problem, we found that difference from the mean, which was 21, and now our standard deviation was 7. So all we have to do is put it over 7, and we get a nice answer of 3. So k is equal to 3, so now we can go to the next step. So we got 1 minus 1 over k squared. So 1 minus 1 over 3 squared. And you probably remember this from previous video. So 1 minus 1 ninth, which is, whoops. Which is not whoops, but which is 9 over 9 minus 1 over 9. So 8 ninths. So that would be our answer for this problem. So eight out of nine numbers should fall between that, within that interval. All right. Now, what about yuckier cases? Well, let's see what we got. 28.5 and 91.5. Hmm. Now, we still want to make sure that 60 is in the middle. So let's do our subtraction. So on this side, we can see that we get 31.5. And if we subtract on this side, I'm pretty sure we get the same thing, 31.5. All right. Well, how does that help us get K? It's not going to be quite the same, is it? So we're going to put 31.5 over 7. Now... Not a pretty fraction because we have a decimal in there. So we want to get rid of that decimal before we put it into Chebyshev's. So how do we do that? Well, hopefully you remember back from chapter 6. But if you don't, the one technique we can always use is if we multiply or divide the top and bottom by the same number. In this case, if we multiply the top and bottom by 10, that's going to move it over one spot. So now we can rewrite it as 315 over 70. And now we just have to reduce it because we don't want to use something that large, right? We want to reduce it down. So let's divide by 5 first on the top and bottom. So 30, 315 divided by 5 is 63. And if we divide 70 divided by 5, we get 14. Okay, 
Now, is that in lowest terms? Can we go even further? And I think we can. What goes into 63 and 14? If you think hard enough, you probably come up with 7. So if we divide both of those by 7, that's going to give us 9 over 2. So 9 over 2. Now, if you're using your calculator to reduce the fractions down and whatnot, that's, that's fine. But you do want to keep your answer as an improper fraction. You don't want a mixed number, and you definitely don't want a decimal. You know, if you divide that on your calculator, you get 4.5. And so that seems like a nice number to use, but when you plug it into Chebyshev's, it makes a mess. It's actually better to use the fraction form. So if we plug that in, start with that, and now we get a square. So square the top, square the bottom. Then we can flip it. And then we can change the 1 into 81 over 81 and subtract to get 77 over 81. And so that should be our answer. So if there were 81 numbers in that data set, 77 of them should be between 28.5 and 91.5 for this data set. All right. Now the last problem you can see is worded a little bit differently. And because now they don't want what's between those numbers, they want what's outside of those numbers, what's smaller than that minimum, and what's larger than the maximum. So another way to think of it is that it's not between. Not between. All right, so what do we do differently? And the answer is not much. It still follows the same process as before. We still need to find K. We still need to plug it into Chebyshev's. So let's, let's knock this out. So remember, 60 should be in the middle. So if we do our subtraction again here, what do we get? Looks like 11.2. And over here, we can see that it's the same, 11.2. Now, I'm not showing the math, but you can verify it using your calculator. So 11.2 is that difference from the mean. So we know that goes on top. And the standard deviation is still 7. So we got to do the same thing we did up above. we got to multiply by 10, which we don't need to show it now, right? So 112 over 70. So now we got to break this down. Well, if you can't recognize a good common factor in the top and bottom, go with the easy, easy cell. They're both even. Let's divide by 2. And then maybe something will pop out. So if we divide by 2, we get 56. If we divide the bottom by 2, we get 35. So now, what number goes into both of those? 56 and 35. And again, if you think long enough, you'd hope we come up with 7 again. <laughs> 7 seems to be the magic number. So we get 8 over 5 if we divide by 7. All right. So again, still the same. Find the value of K. Let's plug it into Chebyshev's. So we got to square the bottom, the, the top and bottom of that fraction. So 64 over 25, then we flip it, and then we change the 1. So we're down to here, and so now if we subtract, what do we get? 39. So 39 over 64. Here's where the, the extra step is. Remember, this 39 over 64 is what's between those two numbers. So again, this lie between. If we don't want that, if we want what's not between, we want the leftovers, right? 
So if 39 out of 64 numbers lie between, then 25 over 64 is what lies outside. So a little tricky there, but just keep in mind that Chebyshev's only gives you what's between those two cutoffs. So the 25 over 64 is what lies outside. All right. A lot to absorb, I know, but I know you can do it too. And when we get to the next chapter, we definitely need a scientific calculator. So if you don't have one, make sure you go buy one. And if you really can't buy one, there's free apps for your smartphone. So you can download those as well. And if you need, um, if you need some, some tips or some, some guidance on that, just let me know. All righty. Take care, and we'll see you for the review and then the next chapter. Take care.